Welcome to the Daily Devotionals podcast with Pastor Paul Pett from Redeemer Lutheran Church. Subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast app. Good afternoon, Redeemer family and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on our epistle reading for the last Sunday of the church year. The epistle reading for the last Sunday of the church year is Jude verses 20 through 25. Jude, verses 20 through 25. But you, beloved, build yourselves up in the most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God, waiting for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. And have mercy on those who doubt. Save others by snatching them out of the fire. So others show mercy with fear, hating even the garment stained by the flesh. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy, to the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. The verses here uh, always remind me of um, when I was in my early ministry, the synodical president of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod was a Dr. A.L. Berry, and he would sign every official document um, with the two last verses of this passage, verses 24 and 25 of Jude. Um, and it, it put an impression on me because I thought it was a beautiful benediction and a beautiful way to sign off a letter. Um, but what we see here is the desire to stay in the Christian faith. And especially, you know, for the last Sunday of the church year, it's always with that in mind as we see the time growing closer for Jesus' return with every passing day, and we see the signs uh, in all kinds of things, not only in nature, but also the signs in society and politics, in the family unit, and, um, the, and even in the church itself. So many signs that are directing us and showing us that it's getting closer. These things are going on. And so staying in the faith, remaining in the faith, you know, is is of great importance to every Christian believer. We don't want to find ourselves as unbelievers when our Lord comes again. So with that in mind, Jude speaks or pens these words, but you, beloved, meaning Christians, Christians of the church, build yourselves up in your most holy faith. You might say, wait a minute, isn't God the one doing the work? Isn't the Holy Spirit one using his word and the sacraments to build us up? Yes, that's true, but if we're not in the presence of God's word, And if we're not coming to the Lord's table, then we're not going to receive those things. We're not going to be blessed by those things. So attending the worship services, taking time to read the word, and taking time to receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, all of those are things that we have to participate with the Holy Spirit in building up of our faith and praying in the Holy Spirit. You know, asking him to guide us, to lead us in understanding the word, to strengthen our faith through that word, and help us not only to have that for ourselves, but to give us the opportunity to be able to share it with others in a way that is effective as he uses us as the conduit to proclaim and witness to Jesus our Savior. And then it says, keep yourselves in the love of God. You know, the warnings about the love growing cold in the last times uh, are need to be heeded. And so keeping in love, Christian love, the desire to show that Christian love to others is of great importance. 
And that says, waiting for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. We're waiting for Jesus to come again. Not dreading Jesus coming again, but waiting for him because we believe and we trust and we know and he's going to make the gift of everlasting life its fullness and completeness when he arrives. But then we need to start thinking not only about ourselves, but also about others. And that starts at verse 22. And have mercy on those who doubt, save others by snatching them out of the fire. To others, show mercy with fear, hating even the garment stained by the flesh. There's all kinds of people around us that are facing situations in life that may be leading them away from the faith. And all the more reason for our witness, all the more reason for our compassion and our mercy, all the more reason for our Christian love, all the more reason to recognize the world and the devil through the world can do great damage. And so we need to show them mercy and kindness and do it and make every effort to try to bring them back so that they aren't swept away by the winds of false teaching and by the waves of hate, but for knowing true Christian love from Christ. And then the benediction that I mentioned as I started. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling, only God can do that. The Holy Spirit working through the word and the sacraments does that. And to present you blameless, you know, blameless because we're covered with the righteousness of Christ that he gave to us through his uh, suffering and death on the cross. They exchanged with us for our sins and blessed us with that righteousness so that God no longer sees us and we uh, no longer face blame but are in that righteousness before the presence of his glory with great joy. See, that's the purpose of it all, to put us in the presence of God with joy, not fear and trembling, but with joy over our, the salvation we have received as a gift from Christ. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and then ascribing him as our king, our eternal king, a king that is not for a season, not for four years or eight years, not for terms that are short in, in the, uh, the scope of human life, but eternally our king. Be glory, majesty, dominion, authority, putting ourselves in his hands, trusting in him, submitting ourselves before all time and now and forever. Amen. We look forward to Jesus' return. He is our King. He is our Lord. He is our Savior. Let us put ourselves in his hands and trust and wait and hope. In Jesus' name, amen. Please pray with me. Father in heaven, we ask, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to wait, to see, to stay firm in our faith, to help others to remain in the faith and embrace us with that certainty in faith that we are ready and waiting when you arrive. In your name we pray, amen. Have a blessed Thursday. This is our last devotion for this week. We will see you again on Monday for Monday's devotion. And may uh, you always know of the great love of our Lord and Savior Jesus. May you stay in faith in him. Thanks for listening. At Redeemer Lutheran Church, our mission is to share with all people the good news of Jesus Christ, teaching faith and love. Learn more about our ministry at RedeemerLutheranGB.com.